It's Thursday, which means it's time to take these bins out to the curb before going to work. And when I get home from work, like magic, they'll be completely empty. Although it's not magic, the content of each of these bins is taken to a different place, and we're going to show you what happens when it gets there. Now this brown bin is for trash, or more accurately, municipal solid waste. When you empty your household waste, you place it into a brown bin like this. The bin is picked up by a collection service company, which takes it to a nearby landfill or to a transfer station. A landfill is the waste's final destination, and waste is taken to a transfer station is only stored temporarily until it can be transferred to a landfill. The county operates four transfer stations, the South Coast Recycling and Transfer Station in Santa Barbara, the San Ynez Recycling and Transfer Station in Los Olivos, the New Kiama Transfer Station, and the Venticopa Transfer Station. The county also operates the Tejigas Landfill on the Gaviota Coast. This landfill serves the unincorporated communities of Santa Barbara County on the South Coast, the San Ynez Valley, and the Kiama Valley. It also serves the cities of Santa Barbara, Goleta, Solvang, and Buellton. As residents of Santa Barbara County, we recycle more than 70% of all the waste we generate. This is a great statistic, but that means that we still have waste that is disposed in a landfill. Modern landfills are uh, much more complicated than most people think. Today, uh, we make sure that the material is buried adequately and that no hazardous materials are disposed of within our landfills. To protect groundwater, all new landfills have to have liners. These are usually a series of carbon and plastic layers that prevent groundwater and trash from mixing. We also collect any surface water that comes in contact with the landfill. This collected water is tested regularly to make sure it is clean. We then reuse it on site to control dust. Another important environmental protection measure is our landfill gas collection system. When trash decomposes within landfill, it generates methane. Methane is a significant impact to the environment as a greenhouse gas. Methane is also a source of energy that we can capture and reuse. Most landfills collect this gas and burn it. We collect it through these gas collection wells, which act like a really large straw that sucks out any gases inside the landfill. The gas is then piped into this power plant where it turns into electricity. Right now, Tahigas Landfill generates three megawatts of power, which is enough to power 2,500 homes here in Santa Barbara County. Tahigas Landfill is an important and valuable asset to our community. It serves our waste and only our waste. Our community's environmental values are reflected in the way we run our landfill. This goes well beyond the green energy generated by our landfill gas system, but goes into everything we do on a daily basis. We were the first landfill in California to hire Falconeer to chase away seagulls at the landfill. Seagulls were polluting a local beach, and when fireworks, loud sounds, and dogs weren't enough to scare them away, we invoked the use of falcons. Falcons are a natural and environmentally responsible way to manage gulls from the landfill site and the surrounding beaches. Innovative and environmentally responsible solutions are first and foremost as our staff works for our community. The way we run our landfill has won a silver award in North America and our overall management system has been recognized at the gold level. The Tegas landfill runs out of permitted airspace in the year 2023. We as a community need to look to the future. Do we want to continue burying trash as we currently do? Or do we want to look at this as a resource and possibly pull more resources, more energy out of it? You've seen that we can do this with landfill gas. We believe we can do it more with conversion technology. If you're interested in participating in this project or learning more about it, please visit us at www.conversiontechnologystudy.com. Since landfill space is limited and there is value to the materials we place in the landfill, it is essential that we reduce the amount of waste we place in our trash cans. One way to do this is by placing your recyclables in this blue bin. What can you put in the blue bin? The most common recycled items are paper products. You can recycle paper and cardboard, including junk mail, magazines and catalogs, office paper and envelopes, books, receipts, paper bags, newspaper, cardboard boxes, and paper egg cartons. Glass bottles and jars can also be recycled. All hard plastic containers are recyclable. This includes any beverage container, as well as plastic containers for fruits and vegetables, laundry detergent, dish soap, plastic cups, buckets, pots, even toys that are all plastic. 
Just about any metal item is recyclable. Steel or stainless steel, aluminum and aluminum foil, copper, brass, lead, pots and pans, utensils, small car and bike parts, pipes, and tools. You can also recycle all empty cans, as long as they are completely empty. Even paint and aerosol cans are recyclable. Some items should never be put in a recycling bin, like styrofoam, plastic bags, or cups made of styrofoam or waxed paper. These wastes and others will be separated out and sent to the landfill in the next stage of recycling. Most recyclable paper, plastic, glass, and metal in our community are consolidated at a county recycling and transfer station like this one located on Calle Real near the city of Santa Barbara. County trucks take most of the community recyclables to a sorting facility. Recyclables in Santa Barbara County end up at one of two recycling centers for processing. When the load arrives, large recyclables and trash are sorted out before entering the first step of the automated process. Once the recyclables are brought to a processing center, they are divided up by category using both mechanical and manual sorting. Once the different types of recyclables are sorted, they are then baled and shipped out to a facility that will recycle this material and turn it in to new products. The County of Santa Barbara currently recycles over 30,000 tons of material collected in residential recycling containers. This material is processed by Gold Coast Recycling in Ventura and Waste Management in Santa Maria. By recycling, you are significantly reducing your reliance on virgin materials. Fewer number of trees need to be chopped down to generate paper. Less water is used in the remanufacturing process. Significantly less energy is used. So there's a number of environmental benefits that you can gain by participating in the recycling program. And finally, we get to our green bin, which is used for green waste. Green waste is biodegradable waste made up of grass, dry leaves, twigs, branches, flower cuttings, and hedge trimmings. Even these materials can be recycled locally. The materials that are in your green waste container are actually an excellent source for making mulch. At the facility, green waste is cleaned of trash and then ground. After grinding, the mulch is made available to the public for free pickup at the South Coast Recycling and Transfer Station. Large shipments of mulch are also available for a small delivery fee. Local avocado and citrus ranches, as well as botanical gardens such as Lotus Land, use county mulch for their operations. County green waste is collected, mulched, and sent back to the community in less than one week. Avocado orchards know the benefits of mulching, and mulch is a great addition to most gardens. Applied thickly enough, it keeps water in the soil, keeps soil from getting too hot or too cold, and reduces weed growth. Mulch can also be used to line paths and stop erosion on slopes. As green waste mulch slowly decomposes, it provides valuable carbon and nutrients to your plant's roots. Green waste recycling is the unsung hero of the recycling movement. Locally, each year 85,000 tons of material is kept from being buried by green waste recycling. On top of that, the local mulch is used in our community's gardens and agriculture, and it benefits our local community. 20 years ago, all home-generated waste was placed in the same bin and hauled off once or twice a week. As community values and state laws changed, Santa Barbara County established a program to separate the waste into three separate streams. In 2009, unincorporated residents of Santa Barbara County achieved a 73% diversion rate. This means that over two-thirds of all waste generated was diverted from county landfills into reduction, reuse, recycling, and mulching. And this number isn't magic. It's because Santa Barbara County residents did their part to ensure that the waste they created was separated into the appropriate bins for burial, recycling, and green waste. The three bin system handles much of our waste locally, but there are many other county programs for hazardous waste, medicines, and electronics. For more information on these and other county recycling programs, visit lessismore.org.